Now you'll learn how to run queries to find conferences that were created by a specific user. Remember that each conference has an ancestor and that the ancestor is the profile entity of the user who created it. Here's how you create a query to get all the entities that have a particular ancestor. You just add the ancestor function to the end of the query creation and you need to specify the key of the parent. That is the key of the ancestor whose descendants you want to query for. This kind of query is called an ancestor query, but you could also think of it as a descendant query. That's because it gets all the descendants of a particular entity. So for conferences, for example, you can get all the conferences that were created by a certain user. So go ahead and add a new function in Conference API called Get Conferences Created that returns conferences created by the logged in user. So again, the HTTP method is going to be post. And this time, the user must be logged in because you're trying to get the conferences created by the logged in user. And define the function to return all the conferences that the user created. And again, test on localhost before you deploy to AppSpot and run your query on localhost first because if you deploy direct to AppSpot the first and then try to run the query for the first time, you're going to find it doesn't work. So after you've defined and tested your get conferences created method, take a look at the code and come and answer this quiz. What I want you to do is figure out which is the right code here to complete this statement to get all the conferences created by the user.